Thank you for joining me for this video, How to Pick a Software as a Service Platform. I'm Bob Cusick, founder of Clickware. There are a ton of technology choices for software as a service applications out there. You can choose platform as a service, so an integrated stack like Force.com or Bungie or Coghead or any one of a hundred other services that are popping up almost daily. There are flashy platforms like Flex and Flash, Open Laszlo and Silverlight that lets you create very rich graphical user interfaces but are very difficult to create real full functioning business apps in. There are of course HTML platforms like Google Gears, Adobe Air, PHP, Cold Fusion, ASP.NET and again about 50 others. These are for browser based applications only. But what if you need more? Do you need a native client as well? That means a client that runs on Mac, Windows, Linux and Unix. You may if you need to do things like hardware access for barcodes or scanners, for local file storage access. How about if you're an ISV and you already have an existing on-premises offering? What about those customers? How will you manage this process of building the tools, learning whole new proprietary languages? What about hosting? What if you change your mind and want to take your application and your data from one of these integrated platform as a service providers? Can you do it? What are the costs, both the upfront costs and the ongoing costs? More than just monthly costs, what are your costs going to be in terms of your maintenance? If you have to have both an on-premise version and a browser-based version, that means two different code bases. Are you writing a business application? If you're just doing a demonstration or a simple application, then really almost any tool will work for you. And the best tool is the one that you're most comfortable with. However, if you're writing a business application, you're going to need database access and you'll probably also have complex business rules and that really complicates the picture a lot because tools vary widely on how easy or how hard it is to create things like validations, business rules, all of those kinds of things that are very important to your business application. A lot of these online services really aren't built to make true multi-tenant applications. So here's a short list of things to look for when you're evaluating your next technology. Make sure that it can support multi-tenancy or have multiple company data in there at the same time. It would be best if it could be multi-deployment, meaning that you could do browser-based or offline or native client all from the same code base. Automatic security. You have to have your applications be secure, but yet they have to be flexible enough to meet your needs. Localization support. It should be easy to translate your application into multiple languages. Especially today with the browser, you never know where your app's going to be, so it would be great if you're planning on getting onto new geographic markets to have a localized version and the technology that you choose should make that easy to do of course it should let you build things quickly and it should be cross-platform so not only operating system but cross database what happens if you start off building on a Mac with MySQL and then you later have a customer that wants to deploy it on Oracle Linux will the code still work and how much change do you have to do to your code base to make that happen it should be standards based the days of these four GLs that have their own proprietary database and their own proprietary scripting language are over. So there's all kinds of open standards. Make sure that your tool is based on industry standards that have been around and been tested. We recommend Servoy. Servoy gives you the best of all worlds because you get a browser based application as well as a native client application from one code base. It's also platform agnostic as well as database agnostic. You can move between multiple platforms and multiple backends without a single line of code change. It's got built-in software as a service tools. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go to Servoy.com. And of course, Clickware can help you with all of your Servoy development needs, your planning, and your evaluation stage of technologies. Drop us an email to sales at Clickware.com or visit our main site at www.clickware.com. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm Bob Cusick.